Dr. Pratap Kumar is a well-known interventional cardiologist from Kerala. His groundbreaking work in minimal invasive procedures such as angioplasty is providing a low-cost and often a safer alternative to heart patients recommended for surgery. In my hospital, any patient comes to me, probably they get a choice that angioplasty can be done. Very, very few patients only I told them, you can go for bypass surgery. Angioplasty entails sending in a narrow tube with a device bound on it, sometimes a balloon, sometimes a borer, to clear a choked artery and to restore blood flow to the heart muscle. We take a tube into the blood vessels of the heart. Through the tube, we pass a wire inside, across the block. Then across the block, you take a wire. Then you take a balloon across the block. The balloon will inflate or balloon will get dilated there. After dilatation, the block also will be broken. Once the block is broken, you keep a stent that is called the metallic mesh will be kept inside so that the block is temporarily or permanently removed. An artery could get choked due to calcification or the hardening of block on its inner wall. There could be several reasons for it. What are the materials getting blocked? Fibrous tissue, lipids, macrophages. These are the materials getting blocked. So anything which is remaining in a place for a long time, it will automatically become rocky-like. So when a block is remaining in one place for a long time, it will become calcified. Or number two, some people have a tendency to have a calcium from the initial level. A bypass surgery was often regarded as the best medical solution for it, given that angioplasty of the earlier era could not get past blocks that had calcified. But in a calcified block, or the block contains calcium, first of all, the wire will not go. Even if the wire goes, no balloon will not go. If the balloon does not go, the block cannot be opened up. Once the balloon cannot open up, then or if you try to open in a different way, the blood vessel can get ruptured. However, technological advancements in angioplasty and the marching skills of the cardiologist have now the answers to stubborn calcification as well. You have to have devices to remove the calcium. That is called rotablation. Rotablation is one technique where you take a machine or a device, a diamond coated device inside the calcium and it will move nearly 180,000 RPM. That speed, then it will just screw like anything and then the block will be removed. After removing the block, you take a balloon and then inflate and put a stent. And then there are other techniques now available. This is one technique. Second is we have OPN balloon or high pressure balloon, which can go up to 48 or 50 uh, pressure bars. Or you can take balloons which can cut the calcium. Dr. Pratab has performed 15,000 successful angioplasties, half of them complicated cases. Multiple avenues are there, not only in the heart, also in the peripheral parts in the brain, in the kidney, and also inside the heart itself. Hole in the heart can be removed just by devices without surgery. We can remove the uh, blockage in the valves by putting another valve inside. Earlier, the valve replacement is only done by the surgeon. And even in, it is done, this valve replacement is done in our hospital also. So it is done not only in our hospital, many hospitals in Kerala as well as in India. So these treatments are coming up in regularly in such a level that we are actually uh, going without surgery. Bypass surgery is the normal treatment given for years in this. That is why people think that bypass is the only choice. For bypass, we have to cut open the chest. The thing about modern angioplasty is that it has many more possibilities today. It's far safer, its success rates are higher, and it's far more affordable. The advantage of this major thing is, a person is so busy a man, 
you can actually come back to activity in three days or four days time. That is the advantage. Actually, the time taken for the family, the emotional uh, uh, setback of the family, the financial calculation of the family, everything. We don't calculate in India, people, we don't calculate the time taken for. If you calculate too much, you will understand that it's all unnecessary. We can do everything very, very fast and back to your normal activity in a short period. That is also one advantage of balloon angioplasty. If the patient has undergone bypass surgery earlier, they come back with a block, either in the main vessel or in the graft, then we will do angioplasty again on those patients. This is also a complex situation. A patient already undergone bypass surgery, they have a death rate chance of a normal angioplasty has a chance of death of 1.5 to 2%. But if you do a re-bypass, the chance go to 5 to 8%. So that is actually number one. Number two, they have other uh, problems of the surgical uh, wound healing problem. Everything can come very bad in the second surgery. So there are redo surgery is actually, redo means a bypass surgery done. Again, one more surgery. So in that situation, you can avoid a redo surgery by doing an angioplasty. I usually give an opinion, we can do angioplasty in most of the cases. 